Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi. hi, hi. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. They said you went on a big ship. They said you sailed away. Didn't know what to say. I should have wrote a letter saying what is what. Hope the weather's good, not too hot for you. Everyone says hi. Don't stay in a bad place. If they don't care how you are, everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. And your mom and dad, and the girl upstairs, and the boy downstairs, and your big fat dog. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. They said you went on a big trip. They said you sailed away. Didn't know the words to say. I should have wrote a letter. Stating what is what Is the weather Good Not too hot For you Everyone says hi Everyone says hi It's for you Bowie You put on your big ship I hope you come back to dock one day for me. There are enough lots of others that want to be with you, Bowie. There's a lot of people I want to be with, actually. I need more room. And he's uh, taken the ark, Bowie has, and um, he's gone. And because he hasn't got a grave or anything, we don't really believe he's gone. That's what happens, see? Like George Michael, we know he's buried next to his mother in that Highgate Cemetery in London. And others, they've got their stones. You know, they've got the graves and everything, but Bowie hasn't. So it's like he's disappeared, literally. Even though they said he was cremated and had his ashes taken to Bali in a special ceremony. How do we know that? Is he gone? It leaves it open, doesn't it? There's nowhere to go. And there's no proper shrine where his remains are. He hasn't left us anything like that. He hasn't left us anything. Well, here we are, folks. Anyway, that's a little bit about Bowie. He always usually comes into the conversation. Two people have got into different vehicles and they're about to leave now near the cops. This is another view. Coming to coming from the other side of the river, but from this side, from the south. The other day we came from the north. Big hill on the house. Let's have a zoom in on that. Uh, the mansion. We had mansions like that in my family. My mum always said that we had fine fingers because we come from higher 
place and what she said come true. I, I found that. I found it through the Isaacsons. It is, it, there's still mysteries though surrounding um, Elizabeth's Mason's parents. Um, not Anne Isaacson so much, but her father James. I mean, I've heard some people have got him on their tree as being some high up general that was um, conquering parts of America. I mean, it could be true. But then, it, what happened there? Because Elizabeth marries a master carpenter. Now, because he was a master carpenter, um, he would have been well respected and would have been given lots of jobs. Um, so I've got a feeling he might have been responsible for Newton, something to do with Newton Place, Thomas Brooks. So we've still got that element missing in the tree at the moment. I've got, I've been doing it, working all around it. I've got the marriage of Anne. Um, Isaacson and um, James Mason. I've got the marriage, right? It's just that when she had her kids, she was Reverend Stephen Isaacson's daughter, she would have been uh, in her 30s, if not, um, in, if not her early 40s. See, she could have got married late. I mean, she was born in about, I need to get the dates right, 18 or 17, 18, oh, I get my luck, no, she was born in 1740s, then um, her father, when she was about 12, her father died, the Reverend Stephen Isaacs, so I think she was taken under the wing of one of her uncles. William Isaacson of Landlord. <laughs> because on her map, it's got her down as Landlord. Um, so it's possible. I need to find out more information about because they got married at the Kennet Church. James Mason and Anne Isaacson. They also remembered at Landway. Because Lanway Chapel had stopped in, had its license taken away for marriage or something. But anyway, um, so there's still a, a big tree, which is a mystery. Do you know what I mean? That is a big mystery. And in, in, the last, in 15 years, at least 15 no one has come forward apart from that bloke, one tree bloke who said that this bloke was a colonel, this James Mason. I mean, the English were always fighting, it's true, and you either went in the military or you were in the religion. But if he went all the way over there, why would he leave his children over here? Because there was John and Elizabeth Mason. So it is, it is a bit of a mystery. So there's cabbage, everyone. I've come from that direction. Believe me, I can feel I've walked all quite a way. I can feel it now. I'm just hoping no fast walking, long legged man without a dog comes along. Because I want to be able to walk up this track at this pace. The other day I had to um, race up it to get, to get ahead of the, the long-legged walking man. Just in case, you have to take precautions. Because like the other day I was here, I stopped here and had a drink of water and I'd never seen this man at all. It wasn't until I was, you know, quite a way up that lane, I'd look back and I'd seen somebody walking fast along there.
Right, so what, this is deja vu everyone. Back to where I was the other day. Over and out.